Hi folks, uh, this is part two in the series of dollar sign expansions. So we've got some data here with a list of countries and amounts associated with that country. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this text object and we're going to say, we'll write an expression how we would normally write one. So we'd say equals sum amount. We click OK, that will give us our total amount. We then need to format that. So if we say num comma close parentheses hash comma hash hash zero and then click OK and then we will add in the euro symbol so that gives us our total amount so with dollar sign expansion we would then reuse that expression by copying it pasting it and let's say we would then if you want a particular country you'd have to add some set analysis and say country equals Ireland then click OK and we get our full amount for Ireland but what we want to do is we want to create use the dollar sign expansion so we, what we would do is we'd actually change Ireland to dollar one copy it all the way up to the equals because we don't need that within the variable press control alt and V Add a new variable and we call it e sales for, and then we paste the expression. So it's basically we're going to sum the amount by country, and a country is a parameter called dollar one. Just going to delete, remove this previous one I created. Click OK, and then when we go back into our text object, instead of writing the full expression, we can just say equals e sales for it's a variable so we have to put the dollar and parentheses around it and then within parentheses we put our parameter so dollar one in this case is going to represent Ireland so now we click OK you'll see that the full amount for Ireland has been populated into the text object so you can copy the expression Paste it in here and change that to Spain. So e sales for Spain. We do the same and we say e e sales for Germany. So you're reusing the expression and it's much easier. So we can say uh, United Kingdom. So we get the full amount. And to get actually up here we've got the full amount so some amount without a country selected so in here we could actually say equals e sales for and instead of a country we can just put in parentheses so here we would put Ireland but in this case we don't want Ireland we want everything so we can just put in our wild card which is shift and a for star and then if we click OK you'll see we get our correct amount just the full amount so you're, you're selecting all countries um, that's just a quick way of reusing um, expressions and using the dollar sign expansion to make it much easier to uh, copy and paste and create new variables for particular countries um, I hope that helps and I'll see you next video cheers